Good morning and welcome back to our live coverage from Black Hat 2024. I'm Mandy with Security Weekly and Cyber Risk Alliance. And thankfully this morning, I'm joined by Brandon Potter. He is the Chief Technical Officer at ProCircular, which is actually a Swimlane customer. And if you were with us yesterday, you definitely saw our interview with Swimlane themselves. And if you weren't with us yesterday, I highly suggest that you go look at it first. Brandon, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. I am so glad. So this is interesting. I'm fascinated to get into this conversation because you, ProCircular is an M MSSP, mm -hmm. and you have been down in the trenches actually using Swimlane for automation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, there's a number of parts to this, but could we first talk about how and why you chose ProCircular and how the low-code automation really helped? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, it's a challenge kind of from a multifaceted asset. You always hear about SOC analyst burnout and uh, having too much data to get through, and we need to find more efficient ways to do that. And obviously, as a business, you have to find efficient ways to do that. And so being able to scale uh, more rapidly, um, we started looking at automation platforms uh, to, to help with some of the, the basics and the, the consistency or the things that have to happen with every alert or every data source that comes in. And so when you were searching, when you realized with ProCircular that you really wanted more automation to enhance your security team's effectiveness, yeah. what led you or what led Swimlane to be top of the choice for you? Yeah, uh, I kind of leaned on the team. We did some research. We talked about uh, really the top players out there and in any way we looked, Swimlane came up in, in some way, shape or form. And then we kind of went down and we kind of did a bake off. You got to make sure it is right for your use case. And uh, so the team spent uh, multiple weeks and multiple months uh, baking off three to four platforms. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, we chose Swimlane, uh, not only from its uh, technical abilities and capabilities, um, but also uh, from a partnership and a support standpoint. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So was the fact that Swimlane is cloud native, did that drive your choice at all? Yeah, I think I, I think that helped drive the choice, right? Self-hosted versus cloud-hosted. Uh, you don't have to worry about resiliency as much. That's taken care of. So we right. can really focus on the meat and potatoes of what we were trying to do, and that was automate to be able to ensure that consistency and that increased value to our customers. Oh, nice. So take me back to the beginning, whenever mm -hmm. you were really searching through options for automation and for helping your security team be more effective and efficient. Um, can you tell me about the proof of concept or the, the proof of value process? I'm sorry, the proof of value process that you went through with Swinling. Yeah, um, I think we did a two or a three week proof of value. Uh, we worked with the team to, to stand the platform up and worked with their engineering team to get the initial integrations uh, built in. Uh, and then once we did that, we kind of ran it as a operational uh, key component in our operations stack across uh, various different customers with the various different stacks to really give us that opportunity to understand you know, how can we build that consistency and, and, and what we can do. And uh, the proof of value process was great. The support was great. If we had questions, they were there. Um, and I mean, I think at the end of that, when we kind of did the recap of the proof of value with minimal integrations with minimal time, uh, we were able to achieve almost a 70% efficiency gain hmm. within two to three weeks. Really? And so, and so, and that was including the time that it took to train your staff on Swimlane itself? Yeah, so we really focused on the analyst perspective and using Swimlane and, and the output that the automation could help with, whether it be enrichment of the alert sources that are coming in um, uh, and, and some of those native playbooks to really create that central point for our team to be able to use. So coming from that moment, mm -hmm. when you saw the proof of value and it sounds like perhaps across the board, not only from the practitioner side, but from your executive side, mm -hmm. you go, yes, this is our choice. We are going forward with this. How long ago was that moment? Yeah, I think we've been a Swimlane customer two and a half to three years at this point. Really? So um, we've, we've seen a lot of change, mm -hmm. um, a lot of direction, um, and really just advancement in kind of the integrations of it and, and how it can be used to, to move the needle. That's really what we're trying to do. So one of those innovations that you've seen change in these two to three years, mm -hmm. uh, we mentioned earlier about the playbook, the AI playbook functionality within Swimlane. Will you speak about why you enjoy the new iteration and offering? Yeah, um, it's much more 
in platform. So um, we've been on a couple different versions of swim lane through our tenure. Um, the new version allows growth within my team. Um, you may not need to know how to code at the lowest level, but if you can understand how the playbooks are working and the interface on how to build those, it allows me to really burst within my team, which from a from a leadership standpoint, that gives my team members the ability to kind of do a little bit more. They can learn. They can get out of just the, the SOC analyst work. Mm -hmm. So those analysts that have more uh, that they want to do, they can start learning some of that through uh, a more intuitive way um, rather than let's dive deep into the Python code and let's write <laughs> Python and, uh, and, and all of that. And yeah, that's cool. That's sexy. That's fun, right? I'm a technical <laughs> guy. Yeah. But being able to get somebody into that allows us to scale more. So we can actually absorb more custom requests or uh, items like that from our customers. And we don't have one or two or three engineers that are dedicated. We use that as kind of a career and a growth path to help them get in to be able to do more. It okay. really has operationalized the way our SOC analysts work. They're not just there doing the analyst work. They're mm -hmm. able to, hey, I have a customer. My customer that I'm in charge of would like to do X, Y, and Z. I went ahead and put that in the platform. They built the playbook, we put it in, and now we, we determine whether that's gonna be beneficial to our other customers, and if so, then we can roll that up and we can deploy it globally. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, so with your customers approaching you, they turn to you, they're like, mm -hmm. we need more automation. Mm -hmm. You had selected Swimlane for your own automation, but does this allow you then to extend ex an exponential value of automation to your customers? Yeah, um, I think it does. Um, we're not pushing the platform directly to our clients. Right. It's kind of behind our stack. Okay. But I think the, the intangible value that's seen is a faster response time and more so that flexibility where we can incorporate some of their own systems and mm -hmm. tool sets to really enhance detection and response within their environment as, as providing that SOC service to them. So is it, is it fair to say that among your customers, the stacks vary quite different, you know, they're quite different. Yeah, um, so we have our own platform. Obviously, that's the that's the true play, right? right. Um, but um, Swimlane, one of the reasons um, we, we went with Swimlane and why we felt it was the right fit is because we look across multiple verticals. Mm -hmm. And every vertical has something unique. And this allows us to consider bringing that in in a... Uh, really an effective way or a, a, a more nuanced way if the data lake or the sim or something like that that they're using doesn't work natively in our stack. It gives it that ability to expand. Um, so does that go along then with what I've looked at the, the information from Swimlane, especially with Turbine, about mm -hmm. the almost infinite integrations? Yeah, it is. A, it has allowed us to say yes to a lot more and as yeah. a business, that's great because the more you can say yes to, uh, the more uh, it's gonna it's gonna help build and grow the business. So, so, my imagining is that when you're seeing the increase in functionality that your team can provide, so increasing your customer base while not increasing your headcount, right? Has there been a sense of accomplishment and excitement and vitality you've seen through your team? Yeah, actually, um, that's that's a really cool aspect of this is, you know, you, you, you have a, there's an understanding that no one wants to be a SOC analyst their whole life, right? I want to do some more cool stuff. Mm -hmm. This allows us to not only provide that SOC analyst with the tools and capability to do their job very consistently and very effectively, but it gives them more time back, which allows them to expand their horizons and their knowledge. And so we do see less of a burnout within the team and, you know, mental health is, 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 is huge. so huge yeah. that we're investing in that technology to help open that up, to give them that opportunity that although it might be work, it's more fun work. And so we're seeing a lot of cool ideas come out of the team to enhance our platform, to enhance that. And um, I think being able to free some of that mundane time up is a, is a huge contributor. I would think absolutely. Um, yeah. You're trying not to brick the human that's doing the security yeah. research, right? Right. <laughs> so that, that is actually taking care of everything. And now on the monetary side, we're going to talk about the bottom line. Yeah. Being able to enhance, did you mention it was 60 to 70% you're able to enhance your client base? 
60 to 70 percent efficiency gain of our current clients in the POV, um, but we've been able to double the amount of customers we have with minimal additions to headcount because of the efficiency. So the ROI is is, is paying off uh, from a from a product or a bottom line standpoint, right? Um, if you can grow your customer base and the revenue that you're bringing in and increase that net operating income without the administrative expense, the lower administrative <laughs> expense you have, the better it we're is, win, right? Win win win. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so um, you know you always are going to have to add staff, but I think that the value there is we've seen a decrease in onboarding time for the new analysts that we're bringing on really? because of the consistency and the automation playbooks that happen. You're not training and triaging them to go look up this IP address in this threat intelligence right. source. We're really able to automate that and enrich that data so they can focus on what matters, and that is do we need to get a hold of our clients right now, or is this something we need to, to you know, to push more data? And I think the advancements in the platform, even in the future where they're going with the, the artificial intelligence integrations mm-hmm. um, and how we're leveraging, uh, whether that be built in, whether that be a different model, um, to really enhance that that capability as well. So, so kind of following up with that, yeah. if since you are in the MSSP space, mm-hmm. what advice do you give to other MSSPs that are looking to enhance automation? Um, it takes time. You have to put the you have to put the TLC into it. Um, spending the time up front with the right plan, understanding your use cases, that's going to give you the best bet. Okay. Um, you'll have the basics done. You won't be fighting certain things down the line. Uh, you'll be able to build off of the right paid place at the right time for the right scalability. So when these new features such as the artificial and AI intelligence integrations come out, you're able to actually focus time on how that can really move the needle rather than let's get that in but this isn't done over here. You're able to focus that time and gain that time back with what you saved with your with your automation implementations. Beautiful. So then Separate from that, have you noticed with swim lane and de- decrease in time per investigation? We have, yeah. And I think that's just the ability and its open openness of being able to do some of the threat intelligence enrichment on the data sources coming in mm-hmm. to have that. So we know, yes or no, we've been able to see a, a decrease in our mean time to detect as well as our mean time to respond. Oh, wow. Wow, so you've got it all. You've got the ROI. you got everything else well, that's coming pretty, yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you got you got to you got to sell it to the to the leaders in the org, right? And and mm-hmm. and we have to have tangible metrics. And I think the way the data is incorporated within the swim lane platform specifically um, allows us to really surface that in the right way uh, to to show that. Okay, and can you give a brief synopsis then of what is ProCircular's strategy with AI? on a grand scale. Even before you started yeah. with Swimlane, had you already developed, eh, this is how we're gonna go. Yeah, so we've, we've, we're, we're new to it like everyone is, okay. right? It, nobody's, nobody's an expert in that. Um, we are doing some fun, unique things, whether we're leveraging um, a model that's coming through a partner because it's very specifically trained for certain tasks. Mm-hmm. From a SecOps standpoint, you know, using natural language to be able to ask it to do something. For example, um, I need to understand if this user is logged in from any country outside of X within the last 30 days. Okay. Being able for a less experienced analyst to just say that or import, more importantly, have that prompt built into an automated playbook that just goes and then sends the data back, that's where we're seeing a large value right now. Wow. Well, Brandon, I want to thank you for joining us. and. Um I'm thrilled. I'm very happy that your company has had such substantial increase in not only your reduction of stress on your team mm-hmm. itself, but also being able to increase your client base. I'm really glad you got partnered with Swimlane. <laughs> yeah, so, so are we. <laughs> Imagine you are. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So thank you for joining us. Um, thank you. Now, to all of our beautiful listeners, to find out more about Swimlane, please visit securityweekly.com backslash swimlanebh. If you can't stick around for the rest of our live stream, or if you are catching this afterwards, please head on over to securityweekly.com backslash black hat to find all of the black hat coverage by Cyber Risk Alliance. And if you are in the market for an MSSP, please check out procircular.com.